Round two, Brian Neitch. Good afternoon. Round two, let's go. Let's go. Let's just yeah. let's just let's just get into it. You know, right into it. Proverbs fourteen. Uh, yes, let me actually look it up real quick. Sorry, that's okay. I'm almost. I'll there. pray it in. I'll pray while you're doing. Yes, this. please do. Lord, we love you. We thank you for another moment that we can share the love of God with the world, with each other, and the Word of God. You are amazing, Jesus. You. You did it. You rose from the dead and you set us free. Wow. And you sent the Holy Ghost to just live in us and show us things. Amazing. Mm, come on. We thank you so much. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Love you. Beautiful, Brian. Beautiful. Yes. Well, thank you for tuning in. We, how many, did, uh, 13 verses this morning? 13, yeah. We, we, uh, yeah. All the way to 12. We're okay. on 13 now. All right, let's continue. Proverbs. All right. So we're Proverbs chapter 14. Open up your Bibles. New Living Translation. And let's just keep it rocking, Brian. You're up. All right. Laughter can conceal a heavy heart, but when laughter ends, grief remains. Oh, wow. Backslider. Ooh. I was just going to say, look at this. God loves laughter. You know, he really does. Yeah. He, he, he loves laughter. I mean, he created humor, right? Yeah. Mm. Uh, it says it says in another place, laughter is medicine for you. it's medicine for your soul, mm. and it really is. Amen. Look at this one: backsliders, you know, those people who fall backwards in their faith, get what they deserve. Oh, <laughs> you know, and you got to own that sometimes. When yeah, you get punched on the chin by the Lord. Sometimes, I remember yeah. it was Look. a few years ago. I was backsliding, and something real bad happened to me. Things just started snowballing, right? And I remember, I remember doing, um, what is that called at church when you drink the wine? And, oh, communion. Let's do it at communion. I said, okay, God, I, I deserved it. I get it. I see it. I'm off track. I'm messing up. I see it. I'm being re mm. uh, you know, recorrected. And sometimes you got to take it on the chin and be man enough to know, like I'm messing up. I gotta, I gotta fix this. It's, I mean, that's true. Look, you're not wrong, but you know what it says? He loves those that he corrects. So when he corrects us, you know, hmm. it shows that he loves us. He won't leave us out there. Yeah. Um, good people receive their reward. Mm. Only simpletons believe everything they are told. <laughs> can we can we go? Can we do Hebrew on fourteen? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Sure. Backsliders or what? Uh, second it? second verse. Good people. I'm just interested yeah. to see what Hebrew says on good people. Fourteen, fourteen. Good people. Hmm. Let's see, it says, um, it says good. A good man will be satisfied. The Hebrew means 
pleasant, agreeable, someone excellent, rich, someone that's valued, good in understanding, prosperous. So someone so so someone who, you know, is gracious, mm. you know. Um I'm, the the message says pretty good. It says a gracious person has grace. A, a mean person gets payback. But a gracious person is good is grace. Well, there we go. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I was just wondering. Yeah, no, no, that's yeah. that's why we have it. That's, yeah. I love it. Let's see. Only simpletons believe everything. The prudent carefully consider their steps. The wise are cautious and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Oh gosh, that was me for so long. Yeah. That was me for so long of my life. Notice it says reckless. Yeah, a fool I was. Plunging ahead, confident and prideful. <laughs> it's just like Yeah. Oh, that's my life before I found Christ. You know, sometimes yeah. I won, sometimes I was victorious, but boy, eighty percent heartache, letdowns, depression, just worldly sword. This song kind of, this 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 proverb right here kind of proves your uh, song about reckless love. Oh. The message says fools are headstrong and reckless. God's oh. no fool. Brian. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hold on one sec here. Yep, go ahead. It's my go it's ahead. my lovely wife. Oh, my phone's dead, so she's calling Lincoln's phone. Baby. Hello. You're live on the Bible study podcast. Okay. We're reading this uh, verse that just said, Brian made a good point. It says, the wise are cautious and avoid anger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. And Brian is talking about that reckless love song. Mm. See, reckless is not good. No, God's not reckless. Oh, I know it. Jess is spitting flames right now. Yeah, that would mean that he's a fool and he's not. Oh, that's right. Brian, this mic is getting hot right now. No fool. He's no fool. Come on, babe. You got the Holy Ghost in you right now. <laughs> or not right now all the time. Um. Okay, honey. I'm sorry. You're on the podcast. I'll let you go. Call me back when you're done, though, okay? Okay. You heading home? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, you, Levi, and Liv are on the way back. We're on our way. All right, love you, babe. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. All right, let's keep going. Awesome, beautiful. All right, 17, short-tempered people do foolish things. Oh, that's me. Gosh, <laughs> this is holy smokes, Brian. I, yeah. The Bible it, reads you, right? It does. Woo. It, it tells us. And schemers are hated. Yeah, and everybody knows an MLM is very, nobody hate. everybody hates those. No, they're not all bad. Multi-level marketing. Mm. For most of them. So 18. Simpletons are clothed with foolishness, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Mm. Mm-hmm. Boy, no kidding. The prudent. The realist, the wise, the realists plant their feet on the ground. It says, 19, evil people will bow before good people. The wicked will bow at the gates of the godly. Wow. Mm. The poor are despised even by their neighbors, while the rich have many friends. Yeah, ain't that the truth? Yeah. No kidding. We look at the homeless. We look at all the poor people out there. and I mean, not mm-hmm. me anymore. As a Christian, as I as I am in the Word, but um, you know, before I was with Christ, I was very judgmental against homeless people, yeah. lazy, dumb. Yep, no good for nothing. Get out of here! I hear you. Sh- shoo away. You know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that was my view. Look at me in my nice yeah. car. I'm way better than you. I mean, I was right. never, I never thought like that, that, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to paint my picture. To, I was never like a bad person, you know, or I was never that just extreme. hateful, but you know, you know, you just, you're just yeah. judgmental for his poor people. It's, and now you find Christ and you're in the word, man. All you want to do is help him. Yeah. 
No, I hear you. I hear you. It changes everything. Jesus changes everything. 21. It is a sin to belittle one's neighbor. Look right there. Don't do not do it. Don't belittle the, the poor. Well, Blessed. the Luke yeah. tattoo I have, the poor man got flown up by angels. Yeah, he did. Be yeah. careful who uh, yeah. who you're judging. And also it says That's in the right. Bible, oh, this should be a tattoo too, be careful who you talk to or how you talk to them because mm -hmm. they could be an angel. Could be a messenger of God right there waiting for you. Yeah, testing you. Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna give me two bucks for a meal? Or are you gonna walk on by? Mm -hmm. Dang. Mm. Always help people. Always. It's a sin to be little one's neighbor. Blessed are those who help the poor. Right there. There it is. Blessed are those who help the poor. Wow. Yeah. And even if you get burned, it's like don't let church. Just because you had a bad experience in church, don't let that oh. burn you away from church. Come on now. God. Pastor that Brett was talking about right this there. on Sunday. Yeah, it's like, oh, I had a bad experience and a few bad experiences. And people in the church were, they let me down and they were bad, so I don't go anymore. Exactly. Well, you're talking about, first of all, you're talking about humans. Exactly. What a surprise. Oh, a human let you down? A human was bad to you? The church is not perfect? <laughs> Welcome to the world. Wait, I thought the church is made up of humans. Oh, it is. That's why you need Jesus. And that's why you don't worship the pastor. Ah, God. come on now. If he messes up, oh, my whole life is over. He was he was not what I thought Christianity <gasps> is. What does that mean? Interesting. You think that happens to some people, Brian? 100%. No, I'm not going to name names because I know people. But, I mean, the, the pastor or his wife or something happens to them. They get cancer. They fall. They lie. They cheat, steal. Oh, you mean they're human and they got tempted. And then you fall oh, or someone, right. you know, is devastated in their whole life because, the, you know, they run back into the world in their own mm -hmm. way. Still saved, still love God, just defeated because someone they looked up to sinned. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's the problem. You can't look at people like they're God. There's only one true God, and it's not me. Mm. It's not you. It's him, Jesus Yahweh. I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I am. You know, it's so it's, true. It's, that is so, that should be yelled out though. Man. It's Brett likes to say church is a a, a, a hospital for sinners. Yeah. It's a yeah. hospital. We no, we, we, we go have there every week and celebrate our freedom from yeah. sin. Yeah. Cuz we messed up, we get repentance. How good is that? mm Mhm. It's like it, it's funny, John. It's I know we're all people, though. It's funny you sin. You, you sin for twenty five, thirty five, forty five years, and then you find Jesus. He washes you clean. You repent. It's over. Yes, Lord. He washes you clean. And then you mess up one time. Oh my God, I'm the worst person ever. I don't deserve heaven. What about the last forty years of sin? Wow. He saved you from that. That's a he good point. He can't save you from the rest. That's why we should live a guilt free life. Confess the sin. He will cleanse you. First John 1 John 1.9. If you confess your sin, he is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Yes. Not just yesterday's, but tomorrow's too. And have the right heart to fight it. Yes. Don't just say, oh, I'm going to party down tonight and I'll repent in the morning. <laughs> well, repent means to change your ways. You right. Know? It's a very good word. That's what it says there, First John 1 John 1.9. Can repent and confess. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, amen to that. That's well said, Brian. I think people need to hear that. So and just like I this, know. where where were we? What did what did we say that sparked this? Um what, what line are we at? Oh, oh, I, I um Oh, 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 the poor. Blessed are those poor. who help the poor. I remember I gave remember in Hawaii I told the story where I gave it was after I read the angel line where some people could be an angel. So be careful how you act with people. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I just, I went on this like giving to the poor rampage, which shouldn't stop. I should keep that going. You know? Yeah. I got, yeah. I, I'm lukewarm with that now. I need to, I need to get that boiling again. So I went around Hawaii just giving every time I saw a homeless person, I would talk to him and say hi and how's your day. And here's two bucks and here's some leftover food, whatever. I'm like, gosh, that could have been an angel. It could have been an angel. Could have been. And um, 
so I gave, I walked over to this, this homeless person and, um, I gave, I gave like three bucks. I said, Hey, God bless you. Hope you have a great day here. Here's some money to help out. He grabbed the money, threw it to the side and says, what the F do you think this is for? I can't even buy a cigar with this. That was a demon. <laughs> yeah, he got so mad just, at me. I don't know. I'm just kidding. And I remember just walking away. I just said, God bless. I walked away. And I said, Lord, it was for you, not even for him. Yeah, that's it right there. Right. That's what, the answer. wasn't even for you. All glory to God. Jesus is king. Man, I love that statement. When you say that, glory to God, Jesus is king. That's right. Yeah. 22. If you plan to do evil, you will be lost. If you plan to do good, you will receive unfailing Un love and faithfulness. Unfailing. There's the word that we've seen a right. thousand times. Unfailing. In the last four months. All in Psalms, Proverbs. Look, he learned that from his dad. Yeah. He, you know how many times David told Solomon, God has unfailing love and he's ready to give it to you. Notice here too, plan, Brian. This is purposeful. This is thought out. This is not just a reaction. This is like, I'm going to plan to do something good. And on the other hand, I'm going to plan to do something bad. Well, that's it. That's right. All right. Well, I mean, you, you know, a lot of times people plan to do bad. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, yeah, you do bad in the moment. Yeah. I've planned to do a lot bad in my life. I mean, many stories of that. Um, I can tell you right now, ever since we started this study in April, I don't plan on anything bad anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, God has shown, he's opening your, your, your eyes, you know, mine too. And yeah, I can't remember I only want to do time. good. Yeah. I only want to plan for good. I know, Brian, me too. Like, I don't, I don't have one thought, John, of saying, man, you know what? I want to go steal from my neighbor. F that guy. I don't think that way at all. And, and in the past, maybe, you know, I would have been mad at it, somebody. But no. Hmm. With Jesus walking with him daily, man, I only think good thoughts. And I'm not bragging. I'm just saying this is what the Bible, the Lord God has done for me and you. Yeah. Yeah. Every day in the good word. In the good word. Okay. Yeah, there was, there was a moment in my life where I thought I was going to do life in prison because this was a very long time ago. This was high school where I planned to beat this guy up. Mm. And it was totally planned. Where he was, who he was with, the house he was in. I had people that were setting everything up. I walk in. It was completely planned. The bathroom door was open. Man, like a mob hit. Yeah, I took him into the bathtub. And there was a thing where it was so bad, I can't believe I'm talking about. I met, I talked about this a little bit on the CNK podcast, by the way. Mm -hmm. Where, yep. there was a moment where he wasn't moving, and we thought he was dead. Mm. And yeah, I that would have been premeditated murder. Yeah, I remember thinking to myself, "I'm doing life in prison." Yeah, man, I'm doing that's life a in tough prison. feeling. I, I couldn't thought he was possibly dead. Could imagine. And I think about that at least once a week in my of my entire every every week of my life I think of that. And I just, do you have, oh. you have guilt still of that? Yes. Man, we gotta get you free of that. You don't I need mean, that. That's gone. I know, but I just I guess it's more of just I'm very grateful now that the Lord has provided yeah. and I am f not behind bars. And I have th the life I have right now. That you know what that is that is a good position to take. That's thankful. I have to say this. I feel I don't feel weird, but it's different not seeing you. I know I hate it. It's okay, I, but you know I just I feel like there's parts of me in the past that I hate, and I think that person is. I don't think I know that person is so dead. Yes, he that person is dead, and the Christ in me is good. Mm. And I'm only good because of Christ. Because without Christ, I was not good. I mean, what you're saying is 100% accurate. It's it, Not only is it true because I feel it and I know it, I've lived that exact thing. 
it's exactly the, what the word of God says. He came to heal the brokenhearted. Deliverance to the captive. That's a captive life of hate and sin. Yeah. When somebody gets you, you get them back. Yes. Not anymore. Turn the other cheek. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean why? Why? God God takes vengeance. That's, that's a beautiful way. You, you said it. You know, Paul says it like this, John. He goes, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, it's not I who lives, but Christ in me who lives. And the work I do, I do it with the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And that, yeah, it's you said it so well. Yeah, amen. I love it's a beautiful, it. A beautiful thing. Um, okay, here we are, 22. If you plan to do good, you will receive unfailing love and faithfulness. Work brings profit. But mere talk leads to poverty. Gosh, let me, ain't that the truth. Let me, I was just going to say, let me say this. I have been plenty lazy in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if this is not a home run Gosh. for people to get up and do something, go out and mow the yeah. lawn if that's yeah. all you have to do. Come on, Brian. Let them know. I mean, it's true. Well, also 24, you know, I think a lot about weightlifting. Mm. Right. Work brings profit, baby. Work brings gold medals. Absolutely. You know, Hard work. But how many people we know in the sport of weightlifting that just love to talk? Boy, where are they? They don't do huh? nothing. Where are they? Right. Where are they? They just talk, and then they turn into pure dust. Yeah. You know, I ain't Look, got time for talkers. You know, yeah, let's put in you. the work. No. Now, if you want to talk while working, fine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you're Samson out there slaying the demons, and you want to start talking like Ali a little bit, Muhammad Ali the boxer. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's put that work in, baby. Dude, that's the only way. Look, work, it, look, people, it brings respect. That's profit. It brings honor. That's profit. Yeah. And money and things. That, that's obvious an, a, a side effect. We put the work but, in on this team. Boy. Boy, yeah. not only the team of, of us on the podcast, but our weightlifting team. We'll talk about hard work. Hard Look at today. Training. Look at today. Oh, my golly, G. Willikers. Today was, there was something in the air today, Brian. Hard work was done today. <laughs> Love it. Yep. Uh, 24, wealth is a crown for the wise. And the effort of fools yields only foolishness. A truthful witness saves lives, but a false witness is a traitor. Ooh. Liar. Nobody likes Judah. a liar. Judah. Yeah, Judas. Judas. Yeah, he betrayed the Lord. Mm -hmm. Man. What we're going to get there and what what happens is he, you know, G Jesus says, "Whoever dips their bread in the cup with me after me is my is the betrayer." And Judas does that. And in the Hebrew culture in the Israel time that when he was there, that means like that's your closest intimate friend when you dip the bread in their oh, cup of wine. we're doing that before meets now too. Yeah, I'm telling you, you have a cup. Oh you yeah, dip something in there together. That means you're sharing a most intimate moment that you could as a friend. Chase Durham, bring cups to the uh, weightlifting meets now. So not only do we drink from the hands, but we now are going to bring bread and cups of water to the meets, and we will yes. dip bread in each other's cup. Like that's it's a. Uh... So wait, I have a cup of water, you have a cup of water. I have a piece of bread, you have a piece of bread. I'm going to dip my bread in your water then eat it. They they used wine, right? And they yeah. used uh they used uh like unleavened bread, which is flat bread type okay. crackerish. I can go down. There's a Hebrew store. There's an Israelite store down in Houston. Well, look, we could we could do that. We could we could practice it next week or this Friday when we're but together. I dip my bread in your cup? Yeah. And then or we we have a cup together. Okay. Yeah. That's how they did it. They you know. Oh, we're doing this every meet now. Yeah, we'll we'll read it in the New Testament and talk about it, but that's exactly what it is. It's so intimate because it's like we're sharing life. The same life goes in me that goes in you. Whoa. And that's the communion. 
we share the body and the blood. Of course, it's not the real blood, body, and it's not the real blood. And it doesn't turn into the body, and it doesn't turn into blood. It's a symbol, right? Yeah. But we share that life together, mm. and it does something. Amen. Yeah. So we're, right. we're living the same. We're living the same life force. <laughs> Powerful. All right, Torres. All right, uh, Hawkinson, get ready. That's right. There's going to be wine all over the back room. <laughs> okay. Wine and bread, baby. Get grape ready. Juice. We'll use grape juice and a cracker. All right. Well, uh, 25. A truthful witness saves life. Okay, 26. Those who fear the Lord are secure. He will be a refuge for their children. Mm. For the fear of the Lord is a living, giving, a life giving fountain. It offers escape from the snares of death. That's honoring him, not just being afraid. That's not being afraid of God. That's the fear of God. The, the, that's the, the, uh, the honor, respect. He's, he's the master. He's the almighty. I bow before him. He's my friend. I love him. That's kind of hey, what that means. Notice this, 26 and 27, they both have Lord in them, capital L. Capital L. They're both positive. Yeah. Notice that, both lines. See the rhythm? Yeah, that's Yahweh. The whole time, it's been good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. Mm. These two have Lord in the first sentence. The second sentence, Yahweh and Jesus, they're both yep. positive. Look at that. And then the next one, 28, it goes right back to good and bad. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Come on, baby. I just yeah. spotted something there. Fear of the Lord. Two in a row. Anytime you talk about the Lord, look, I mean... What's the the Hebrew says? Uh, it says in the English it's Yahweh, but the word is Yahovah, Jehovah. Yeah, it's and then it, it look, it's right back to good and bad. A growing population is a king's glory. A prince without subjects has nothing. Hmm. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. Gosh, I could work on this. Mm, people with understanding control yeah. their anger. I feel like I've been very good. I've had some, you know, attacks and some, 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 you know, tough yeah. times and, uh, you know, dark people come at me the last, you know, four or five months. I know I'm in the right. I know my heart is good. I know I'm on the right path. I know I'm walking with the Lord. Yeah. And I have a peace with it. Mm. And I am not being hot tempered or anything because, you know, I'm with God. Amen. It shows. Yeah. It shows. Like you, you're. I only see happiness and hope, and joy. Yeah, you can't touch me. And I see you every day, multiple times. Well, how do you see him? You're three, 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 three hours away. This is something called the internet, <laughs> Zoom. Like we're face to face. And it's beautiful. I see I see the metamorphosis in your life, mine. Oh, for sure in you, absolutely. Amen to that. Yeah. And everybody's. We have yeah. the armor of God. And the crew we have, the tight crew. Yeah. Oh man. And Aaron Huss. How about that? <sighs> Talk about crew. Man. Amazing. Two twenty eight. Ninety one. Ninety one K four pause <laughs> CJ. Watch out watch out uh Andrea, she's coming. Yeah. Um, that's the crew. Leanne. 30. A peaceful heart leads to the to a healthy body. Well, look at this. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Yeah. 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 Jealousy. Mm -mm. Those who oppress the poor insult their maker. Oh, Makers capitalized, by the way. You see that? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to see what that Hebrew is. That's interesting. Is that 31? Yeah, 31. Maker. Capital M. I've never seen God yeah. uh, spelled out like that. Capital M. That's blunt. Wait, what's it's, it? it's, it's, it means one that acts. One that to act to a point ordains. To do, it's kind of like saying I am. The guy who's is interesting. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Well, that's obviously God. The, Jehovah. 
but helping the poor honors him. The wicked are crushed by disaster, but the godly have a refuge when they die. Oh, look at that, when they die. See, look at that. But the godly have a ref- refuge when they die. Notice how in Samson, Samson, and then it says Samson died. Great. We obviously know that multiple angels, learning from Jesus in his red ink and Luke, mm-hmm. they flew Samson up. Uh, not, maybe not necessarily up, but they flew Samson to Abraham's bosom. Um. That's a fact. Yep. But notice that when the rich guy died in the Luke story. Helpless. He was buried. Disastrous. Yeah, and he was buried. It literally says buried. It says buried. Not flown away. He's under the ground, literally, in the earth. His spirit. Oh. And then he looks up, John. He's like, can I just have one drop of water? Yeah. Now, I know you could say, well, Abraham was buried and, you know, so many great men and women of the Bible that are in heaven right now were buried. So, yeah, I'm just saying, though, I think that it's just because it says Samson died. That doesn't mean he's dead. No, absolutely not. not. I mean, I if you got hit by a bus right now and died, Brian, you would have eternal life. My body would be dead. Right. Yeah. Come on in. Liv? Hi, come give me a hug. How was school? I love you. I love you. Okay, shut the door. I'm almost done. All right, so a couple back. more. Come on. The wicked are crushed. Also, the, the godly are not crushed by disaster. We rise up. We have we have the Lord. We have people. Mm-hmm. The wicked don't have people. They run, they hide. Remember Adam and Eve? They run and they hide. We don't do that. Yeah. Sin makes you run and hide. But God, but righteousness, what we have, that makes us stand and say, Lord, I need you. Where are you? He's like, I'm right here. See, God had to say, where are you, Adam? But we say, Lord, where are you? Changed the, he, he totally switched the tables. Amen. Uh, 33 um, Wisdom is enshrined in an understanding heart. Wisdom is not found among fools. Man, you want to finish the last two? Look at the next line. Well, we know wisdom is a woman. Enshrined. Look at that. Yep. Surrounded by lives in man yeah godless uh 34 godlessness makes a nation great i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah godless godly godliness godliness i'm sorry i knew that was wrong mm-hmm. godliness makes a nation great gosh oh, look oh. at that america yeah yeah let me go can i go back to the last one real quick please the the wit the uh if you look in the message translation of 33, it says, Lady Wisdom is at home in an understanding hey, heart. Hey, we said that because we're reading the Bible. We know that wisdom is a woman. Yeah, yeah. She's gentle. You got wisdom as a woman. You got women prophets. You got women gladiators. Yeah. I had to say that. Man. All right. 34. Uh, but look at this. Godly- godliness makes a nation great. Mm-hmm. Right, this this country. Not saying the people that founded it were perfect, but right. it was founded on Christianity. Right, lovers of Christ, and we've always loved Israel. Yes, we have. We have a great relationship with Israel all the way back from the beginning. So you know, those two things combined, you know, is what makes this this nation great. Is it perfect? No. Is there sin? Yes. Are there bad people? Of course. But it's a great nation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, you go, you know, the, did you know this? And this is hidden by all the politicians and all the, the historians who don't like God. If you go back and look, did you know, you know how we talk about uh, church and state separated? Yeah, yeah. Did you know that the United States came out and the United States Congress printed the first Bible in the United States? And they said, and they recommended in the Bible, not kidding, 
We recommend this true and holy book to all patrons of the United States and to the educational institutions. Wow, how that's yeah, changed. That's in the Bible. That's in the Congress. That's in the Continental Congress uh, history. But they don't They don't talk about that crap. No, no. Sorry. No. Nope. Oh, crap. True. Uh, Jesus, it's John. That, as God, John, as God is my witness, that is the history of the, of the United States. Yeah. Amazing. Bible. I did they not honor know the that. Bible. They honor Jesus. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, but you know all these bad things they did. Yeah, they're they're just regular old people, just like us. Show me the place that had good people. <laughs> I, I just don't understand. Like, where do they, where do the people live? I mean, it's like oh, it's know, in like, their minds, John. It's called uh, utopia that is not real. It's like from Genesis one one through the history of the world, like every nation has been bad. Yeah, we every all every up. people group has been bad. Even Israel, they've been the worst sometimes. It even says they were the worst of all the pagans, right? And when they were killing their own kids. We've all done bad, man. Are you sure that was in Israel, though? 100%. When was this? Manasseh, King Manasseh. He was the worst of all the pagans in the land. He sacrificed his own son in the bronze uh, container. Are you sure those were Israelites, though? 100%. He was the king of Israel. We already read this, didn't we? We did. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying that even God's people can be stupid. No, the you're guy, right. The guy, look, Manasseh repented. No, you're right. And he's in heaven. He was the worst of them all, but getting to what he did, he got on his knees and he said, it took him years, but finally he said, God, you're right. You know, it's, you know isn't it funny how I got defensive there? What I should not. It's like, it's like a Catholic getting defensive when you say the Pope sins. He does? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I knew, I knew, I knew it was happening, so I just had to stick with the Bible. That was funny. I love it. When you go to yeah. ink, you don't say nothing. I just the okay. Bible. Says, it happened. Yeah. No, you're right. It's just funny. But he repented. That's the beautiful thing of that story. God got his heart at the very end of his life, and uh, it saved Israel. It yeah. saved Israel from from being taken to Babylon early. Yeah. Amen. Uh huh. Sin is a disgrace. I love it. Where are we at? You're in thirty, in middle of thirty-four. Thirty-four. Oh yes, uh, second line. But sin is a disgrace to any people. See, any people. Look at that, Brian. You're right on the money. The Holy any. Ghost is working in you. It's any people. Look, it's God. God's truth is b- before time and after time. So it's it's just it's Him. It's, he's talking. Yeah. Verse thirty-five. Last verse here. A king mm-hmm. rejoices in wise servants, but is angry with those who disgrace him. Hmm. All right. Well, there it is, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. We finally got through fourteen. It's like the last couple have been two dayers. <laughs> yeah, we've been going slow through proverbs, but they're good, man. Yeah, they're good. It's amazing, amazing. All right. Well, yeah. um, I think you prayed it in, right? Yeah, I did. All right, I'll pray it out, dear Jesus. Hope you had a fantastic day up in heaven. Please tell everybody hi for us, and uh, we mm-hmm. love you dearly. Thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for your word. Thank you for this teaching as we study and learn and walk. And we we give us strength to put what we're reading to action. Mm. Give us confidence to put what we're reading to action daily. Give us strength and wisdom to hear your word and do, not just read and then move on and be humans. Uh, keep our swords sharp. Uh, we choose you, Jesus. We choose to walk right next to you. Mm. If we start to get off track, just just grab us by the shoulder and yank us back, please, Lord. You know? Say, come over here. You know, or redirect us, even if yes. it takes a little knock on the chin. Back on path. And uh, we just love you dearly. And we can't wait to get up there and see you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You know, Lash is a, uh, he's a, he's a believer. Yeah, big time. Loves and Jesus. So, so I was thinking, I was thinking, I wanted to yell out. Tell Samson Lash is coming. Oh, me. snap. Samson, <laughs> you better be training, baby. <laughs> I know. I mean, that's a good point, Brian. I never thought about that. 
I mean, he's got the spirit. Of, he's got that strength anointing. That's hard oh, to be. You know what? One day, Donnie will be up there too. I know. You're gonna have Shane we Hammond. Are, we, Shane Hammond loves yeah. Christ, so you're gonna have Shane look, Hammond, Luda. Yeah, yeah. Luda loves Christ. Look, it, it ain't over yet. Look, uh, talk about that is gonna be the session of sessions. Lost like I know Samson. Friday might be awesome, but yeah. man, yeah. See, Can't I think King that. David is more of just a, like a UFC fighter. I don't yeah. think he's a weightlifter. I think he's he's more of like a UFC guy. You know, I I, I think so too. Like that hand to hand combat UFC, like yeah. wrestle, punch, kick, whatever it takes. Yeah. I mean, even though Samson killed thousands of people with the donkey jawbone. Like, I get it. But for some reason, you're right. Like, when I think of a weightlifter, I think of Samson. Yeah, I do, too. Mm. Because, I mean, because he, you know, even though, even though he's like a, he fights, he, I, th- I feel like I could see him on the platform I slamming do the too. bar. He's got long hair. He's got it wrapped up in a man bun. He, he, <laughs> yeah. You know, he's probably going to, he's going to probably slam bars and scream out, David! David! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, yeah. I, and I guarantee you there's no press out rule in heaven. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, just, I guarantee you. I never you. even thought about that. It's probably, it's probably not. It's probably don't. lock it overhead, hold control, and you're good. Yeah. I would, I would think so. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. That was great. We'll see you guys back tomorrow on normal schedule. And as we continue on going to cover to cover, God bless. and Have a great night.